Alpine community groups against motor charges, a number of different community groups across the Greater Condiri area that have been organising over the last number of months to stop water meter installation and to build confidence in people to ensure that as the water charge bills have been arriving that people uh, don't pay the bills and that we stand together and that organised together we are strong and we are able to deliver a very very clear message that we're not going to uh, accept water charges. So, as I said, this protest is organised by those community groups and today's speakers are all people who have been involved over the last number of months on those uh, protests and people who are from the community. We believe in the strength of empowering ordinary people to stand together, empowering people to stand up for themselves. And this is not a campaign that can be or will be led by politicians or trade unions or anybody else. It's a campaign whose power can only come from below and can only come from people standing together. On that basis, the first speaker is really, really nervous, but as our first time speaking in public, I want to welcome Susan Moriarty from Dean's Grange. And um, I got involved in protesting against the water meetings a few months ago because I felt that was something that I had to do. Look at the amount of corruption that we've heard about in the last few weeks about Dennis O'Brien and Sightser. They really seem to think they're fools and they can do what they want. I don't want to meet her outside my house. There are serious questions about how safe these meters are regarding the radiation they give off. And once the meter is there, they'll be measuring how long I spend in the shower and how often I flush the loo and then charge me for it, taking more money from my family's income. So I decided that I just wouldn't wait until they came into my estate, but that I'd get out and try and stop meters going in anywhere I could. I think that's important because we all live in the same community. There's no point in me stopping meters in my estate if they go in anywhere else. I've learned a lot over the last few months. I've learned how great it is to be with a group of really dedicated people, supporting each other and having a laugh with each other, and helping to build a sense of community strength and solidarity. We have managed to stop and delay installations all over this area. We have done this peacefully and mostly while having a laugh. I've also learned that it can be very difficult to stand up for what you believe in. I myself was arrested last week for taking part in a peaceful protest. A lot of other people have been too. And one man who has been a very good friend to us on these protests, Stephen Bennett, has now spent over three weeks in prison for taking part in a peaceful protest. It is not a nice experience, but because we know we are acting peacefully and that we are doing this for our families and our communities, we won't be afraid. I have seen that when there are more protesters, the guards are far less likely to get involved. So I would ask any of you that can to come out with us and help block the meters. Not everyone can do it every day, but any bit that you can do helps. So make sure you give us your details if you can help out. And most of the time, it's actually great crack. I'm proud to be standing up in my community for my family, my friends and the community. We can stop these meters and we can say no and not back. Thank you very much. That's brilliant, Susan. Thank you very much. And I think what Susan has just done has proven that ordinary people are able to stand up and are able to say no. Uh, what, what we're going to do now is we're going to form our protest up. We want the people carrying the free Stephen Bennett uh, uh, placards to the front. We'll get the stewards from the front of the march just to go over as far as the gate. And if we get the free Stephen Bennett placards then behind the stewards, followed by any of the community banners, and then if there are political party banners or placards here, if they can take their place then behind uh, the community banners, that would be great. And there's plenty of uh, placards over here if anybody does not have a placard and wants to drop it. As I said, we're going to form up, we're going to march around and we'll form up again and have some more speeches at the, at the other end of the park. You can't even cross the road on your own.